Hello there, I'm your host Dan Rojas and I got a quick update on the satellite dish. I have six of the panels put in. You can see that at about 33% of its power, it's pretty effective. Now, I'm going to be talking to you in this video real quickly about lining other satellite dishes. In particular, ones just like this. Now, this is a regular direct TV satellite dish. And this is a larger 35-inch dish that's uh, pretty circular. It's got a nice shape to it. I'm going to show you how I line these. These satellite dishes have a really nice surface to them. It's almost like a Teflon surface that they put on these, and it's basically non-stick. Nothing will stick to this. I don't know if I would go as far as actually using this to cook on, but I'll tell you what, there's not a lot that sticks to this. So what, first thing you're going to have to do is prep it and sand the surface off. I've got the Part B mirror. I use the Part B mirror, which I lined like this, and you can see that it gives you a really nice surface. This dish will actually give you a really tight beam. It's not as effective as the big 35 inch parabolic mirror that I have, but it is pretty effective. Now, if you look at this, you're gonna notice that I did the strips, I did the three inch strips. And a lot of people have uh, emailed me and said, why don't you just do a pie shape? You know, cut it like a pie. And simple answer is that just won't work. Now, if you're looking behind me, you're probably thinking that I'm contradicting myself because this is nothing but pie shapes, but there's actually 18 of them there. And they're not perfect pie shapes. They're actually cut in a curve. And I'm gonna take you inside and show you that. I made one out of cardboard just to give you an example. For something like this or for one that you mold, it's totally different. It's a lot easier to do. But to get this and match those, it just doesn't make sense. The strips work just as well. What I have is a parabolic shape that it's made out of cardboard. And I went ahead and just, this took me about two minutes to make, so it's not real particular. I just kind of eyeballed the cuts. But if you notice, it actually makes the parabolic curve there. Now, it curves into the flat panels, and I'm going to show you how that works. I'm going to take this and cut the tape off. If you're going to notice, as I start to flatten these out and spread them, You're gonna notice that these are not perfect pies like you would think, and there is actually some space down in there. So what happens is, in order to get a parabolic shape, you end up having a wider area here. Even though it's technically it's wider, there's a curve that goes to this, and that curve is what determines how deep your focal point is. Now there's a mathematical formula that you can come up with that'll tell you exactly what focal length you're gonna be at to the size of the circular shape that you're using. But what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be making different patterns and putting them up on, the, on uh, my website soon. So you could basically take a template, print it out from my website, put it over just about any material, cut it out, and by joining these together, it's going to pull it and make a curve. And it's going to make a really nice curve. Now, again, if you're lining uh, a satellite dish, this really doesn't help you that much because you're not going to be able to get whatever the satellite dish is exact, so you're better off to just go with the strips because there's not a lot of difference in the power rating. The focal point on that is about a foot in diameter. Now when I get done with that, it's going to be three times as powerful, so we should be able to boil about a gal about 10 gallons of water with it. I'm your host, Dan Rojas. Thank you for watching and enjoy our videos.